I noticed this little path and it looks like it's going on a trail in the woods here but it goes down in here for some reason oh wow wow guys what is this hi everybody welcome back to the channel grave visitations here again so today i'm in a very old graveyard here in valley lurk it's called in county cork and it has some really beautiful headstones and an old church ruined here also So as we enter the old graveyard, we have those old railings, as you can see there. And there's no markers or headstones on that plot. But just look at that tower as you enter. Absolutely beautiful. And this one has a lovely old wrought iron railing around it. And that beautiful tower, look at that. Almost looks like something from a a fairy tale movie or something. And it looks like the original part of that church is missing and the tower just remains. And this one here, guys, and... Now, this is very, very interesting here because I've just bought it. This. And this looks like a vent as you can see here guys look at that a vent that comes up from the ground so this is actually a vault and you can see the stone slab on it there and it says S-S-E-L-L -L. now I can't see the rest of it but I'm presuming that name is Russell 1885 it says so it's the Russell vault from 1885 wow and it's all that old railing area look at the size of that and there's that vent coming from the vault there I'll go around and see can I have a better look at that but you can just see that vent and I'll zoom in and show you look at that vent coming from the vault I don't think I've ever seen one like that before. That's very, very interesting. What a find to find that. And there's the name, Russell. Now, whether that's 1885 or 1785, or sorry, it's 1885. I presume it is 1885 that's on that. Russell is the name. So the Russell family vault. And that very interesting vent also just look at that absolutely gorgeous tower we'll go over and we'll have a look and see and there's just a plaque here on the wall and it says jubilee 2000 mass celebrated in this cemetery on the 7th of June 2000 so that was the jubilee year 2000 and there's the original door that goes into the old tower here and it looks like that they're using this area here for you know like rubbish really because it's old bits like paper from flowers and old wreaths and candles and stuff there that have been left here in the tower part but just look at that opening there as you come inside the tower and it goes all the way right up there look at that for a tower that big round tower with that cone head shape at top at the top of the tower and there's a window either side up there as well. And I love coming across these old finds, places like this.
Christy Casey, who died on 20th of August 1982, and her husband Dan died in 1997. He's buried there. So I'm not sure, is there any more graves in that wooded area? I'm going to have a look and see. This one here says, in loving memory of John Hewitt, who died the 21st of April 1943, and his wife Matilda died in March 1955, and their son George died in 1930. Now this is a, just a wooded area that's off to the side of the old graveyard. And I do see a headstone here, so. And you have that old wrought iron railing there again. Look at that. Beautiful designs on it. So I'm going to read this headstone here and see what it says on this. And it says, in loving memory of the two children of Jeremiah and Jane McCarthy, who died March the 8th, 1872, aged two years. So how sad is that in the 1800s? Two children of Jeremiah and Jane McCarthy who died aged two years. So it says the two children who died aged two years old. So I'm just wondering, is it possible that they were twins who died at two years of age in the 1800s and their grave is just here in this forest kind of area, wooded area here. So we continue along and read some of these old graves and there's even graves in here you have this old wrought iron one again and that kind of branch and the tree falling down on top just look at that no headstone there but it's a grave area, all that. And another big grave area there, look at that. Those old designs and those railings. And there once was a gate here, I'd imagine. Now the name on this is Reverend William Lewis Beaufort. And that's in Roman numerals, XXXIX, if anybody knows what that means. For that number of years, rector of the parish. Of Freb and Derry, Count of Cork, who fell asleep in Jesus on the 11th of December, 1818. Aged. 94, I think, years old, that's us. Also, those of his daughter, Louisa Lethia, who departed this life, and I can't see any date on that, but that's a beautiful, a beautiful uh, monument there and grave. Now, I will go over this direction here because there's an obelisk over here and as you can see I'm trying to make my way around the area here but it's extremely hard with the, the growth. Now look at this. Look at all that design on this obelisk covered in ivy here and all that old railing that goes around it. Absolutely gorgeous looking designs in it. I can get in there and show you. 
Look at all that. How beautiful is that? So I'm in very deep into the wooded area here. So I'm hoping to try and get back out. So just in front of me there is the Oblesk Monument and it's very hard to see but you might see the top of it there and I was just showing you the side of it and the lovely carvings and designs on it but it's completely covered in ivy all over the grave there and even the monument itself so I won't get to read that unfortunately but there's the railing that goes around the grave area and the one next door there to it with that beautiful railing design on that. So this, just in this area here, I noticed this little path and it looks like it's going on a trail in the woods here. But it goes down in here for some reason. Oh, wow. Wow, guys, what is this? Look at that wall, the way it's built. And it goes down into this hidden area here away from the the graveyard and there's a hole there with like a gate behind it or something and there's a name on it Morris 1861 it says look at that and it's a vault that's built all that hillside is built over it look at that Absolutely stunning. And I'm just wondering, can I get a look inside here? And if you just look in there, you can see there's actually a door and a load of spiders also as well, and spiders, webs and stuff. But you can see that old iron door there. So behind this wall, there's an iron door that's in the vault. And that massive, ugly spider there also. Just look at that door there. An old iron door in the vault. Wow. So, this is in front here. And you can see the way it's built on the hillside. So that was closed up. Whether that's the original part of it or not, I don't know. But it's Morris. 1861 is the name on it. And that is absolutely stunning. Hidden away and that old rusty iron door in the background through the hole that goes in to the area where those people are buried. And you can just see the wall area there. And there's this path here that brought me all the way in. to the area of that vault, look at that. Amazing. So there's the old tower I was showing you earlier, it's beautiful. So we continue on around the old graveyard here and see what else we can find. It's an amazing place and wow, that was some find, that vault. All these old graves. Here's another old one here. That beautiful design on it. Look at that. I'm going to see can I read a name on this. Erected by Patrick Prendergast it says. And there's moss covering all that. So it's hard to read any dates on it. All the old iron railings around these. And this one says, John, the beloved son of Matthew Barry, who departed this life 1863, aged only 
18 years old. Another beautiful grave here. Memory of a beloved wife, mother and grandmother, Mary Ellen O'Doherty, who died 20 February 1977, and her husband, Michael O'Doherty, who died in 1977 also. And the beautiful face there on it of Jesus. So Mary Ellen died in February so seven months, if I'm right, later, her husband also died. So I've come across that before. Her husband and wife have died very close to each other, the dates. And you know, as I said before, it's a case of maybe being broken hearted. So it's a very old graveyard and I believe that church there, our old tower, was a Protestant church, but it's Catholic people being buried here. Now a local person was telling me, a woman I was speaking to, that uh, part of that church got blown up during the war, maybe in the 1900s, or early 1900s. Now, just over here, I see this old railing here. And it looks to me like it's a, a vault here. And there's a roof on it there, you can see. And it's covered in ivy. But well, that's another old vault. And I'm going to try and see, can I get around the other side of that maybe? There might be a door on the other side, but you can see all the overgrowth and the old railing around it there. It might be a hard to get into that area but it's certainly worth checking out it's very old headstones here Jeremiah Cody beloved father erected by Jeremiah Cody in memory of his beloved father William who died March 1861, aged 38 years old. All the beautiful moss that's growing on them there. It really kind of gives it that more beautiful look. All those headstones. And unfortunately, this area here has fallen apart all that old railing and you can just see the Celtic cross has fallen over on the ground here and you can see the base there of the Celtic cross where it has fallen all that old railing around there really beautiful graveyard there's a tower I just can't get over that tower how beautiful that looks stunning and it still stands today with the old window there So guys, I'm going to go back up this direction because we're actually going back home today. So this is our last day in County Cork today. And what a memorable visit it was. And uh, really interesting. All these beautiful old graveyards we found. And steeped in history
this old place. Now here, I see this old building here. Now I don't know, is that a mausoleum or an old part of the church? It's covered in ivy. So I'm going to try to go in that direction in that area and there we can see more of those old railings and chest tombs hidden in all the growth so I'm going to try to make my way in this part here there's a gap and it looks like it's a an old mausoleum in here hidden you can just see at one time there could have been statues there or something. And there's the door. And the door is blocked up. And it has the same look on the other side there as well. Now there is a plaque above the door. So I'm going to try and read the names on it. Now it says, here are deposited the beloved remains, it says. Now it's hard to see Helen Eldon, daughter of Abraham Morris. Now we've seen the name Morris and the last vault we found. So if, I wonder is there a connection to this family? And it's very hard to see dates. Now I do see dates at the bottom here. We see December 1822 and November 1829 also. And there's that old plaque over there. And the uh, original entrance is blocked up. And I think this underneath my feet here, guys, looks like to me this is the original door of the vault. So they've blocked up that entrance to the vault. And this is the original door to the vault. Look at that 1800s vault door. And you can just see the part of it there also. So that's the original old door that was belonging to that entrance of that old mausoleum with the plaque over the door there. So while I'm here guys, I'm trying to go in this direction because in there, I was mentioning a couple of minutes ago, there was some kind of a tomb or crypt that was covered and the door entrance, I would say, would be the far side of it. So I'm going to try and see, can I get in around there and have a look and investigate deep in those wooded area. In the wooded area there with all those trees. So guys, I've made my way there's the old railing and there's the the old crypt that I saw the other side of it so I've come around through all this wooded area and the old railing that goes around it and the door has fallen apart on this old crypt look at that and you can just see inside the roof of the crypt and all those coffins maybe one coffin is in there and the strange thing is I don't see any bones or remains in there of the crypt but there is if I can zoom in and show you old parts of coffins there at the very back you can see the handle of one of the coffins just there and there's all that coffin has just broken in pieces unfortunately it's sad to see that a crypt is left like that whether the remains were taken out of there or not I don't know but you can see all that broken coffin it just has broken away I'm sure there's a name on this here. Maybe not. 
but you can just see where the part is broken away. You can see the old iron ring on it there, either side. I'll just try and come back out and show you. You can see the old ring is there either side of it. Look at that. That was the door entrance to it. So what a find that is, guys. An old hidden crypt inside with all those broken pieces of coffin there with the handles still attached. Wow. So that's the side of the crypt area there. It's all covered in uh, and excuse me guys if I'm breathing heavy but it was a bit of an effort to get inside the back of that old crypt to get a proper look because I was very inquisitive to know what remains the other side of that there and we've just seen what's there and sadly the door has been come away that stone door that is there and it's just all bits of coffin that's left in it and you can just see all the old railing and the roof of it there so another amazing find and you know that's what this channel is all about myself and Serenity Sioux also. You know, we travelled the length and breadth of the country, Ireland and even abroad. We've been to London. And uh, it's places like these that we find that are hidden away in time and somewhat forgotten in some cases. And these are the places that we find. It's very, very unusual interesting headstones and grave sites and as we've seen on this one just here also with that amazing vault there of the Russell family with the vent just look at that So I think I'm going to wrap the video up there, guys, and uh, thanks for watching the video. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and also hit the thumbs up. It helps the channel, helps the channel out a lot, and helps the channel to grow. So for me, grave visitations here in Ballylurka, Old Graveyard in County Cork. Take care, guys. God bless. And I'll see you on the next adventure.